The largest rocket engine NASA ever made was the F-1 engine. And I'm going to show you the process NASA went through to make the rocket safe for astronauts to go to the moon. Hi, I'm John Williams, and I'm standing in front of the F-1 engine nose cone. This is the combustion chamber where all of the propellant mixed in together, which is liquid kerosene and liquid oxygen. It's where it was fed into this combustion chamber and it was blown out. And that's what gave the engine 1.5 million pounds of thrust, which is the most of one engine ever to be designed. Now, if you look down there, you can see the boiler plate. This boiler plate was a hassle for NASA. You see, originally, you see those dividers, they were not there. And NASA just had this free boiler plate where it was just like these lines of holes. And what they realized is that any little shake could send the fuel that is coming out of these holes at record, at like amazing speeds. It could make the engines unstable and then the vibe and the fuel would just go like this inside the combustion chamber and kaboom. So they tried to split up the boiler plate into these designs. There were probably they tested hundreds of designs and then they landed on this one. I they have no idea why it worked. It just worked. So because of that, the engine now could withstand extreme vibrations without the fuel sloshing around because it's all coming out of individual spots. So it's really cool. And the engineering that went into this to make this engine operational is amazing. But it's also good to note that it's really hot in here, the engine when it's firing. So you have these pipes right here and each had liquid oxygen pumping through them to cool down the engine nose cone so it didn't melt from all the heat that was being released. And if you come over here real quick, this is the back of the engine and this is what the boilerplate looked like when they used it without this design. So, and after it blew up, this is what the boilerplate looked like. So they tested the hundreds of designs and they landed on that one and it worked. And now we have been to the moon because of this engine. Please subscribe, share our videos and excitement about space with everyone.